Hello people, this is our third report for Zolanet News about the visit of the Namibian girls. We are standing in front of our school and we are reporting about the last three days. On Tuesday, we went to the exhibition at the LBS for the first time and looked at the pictures there and had lunch. What did you think about the pictures? Uh, the pictures are really great and I like them, especially when I saw the new African face on the wall. How was it to see your own face? I was great and very happy because I can see I'm far <laughs> in Germany. <laughs> okay, then yesterday the girls went to school with us in the morning. So you introduced our school. What do you think about our school? Yeah, I think your school it was really it's my first time to say it, but it really is a big school, a beautiful school. Yeah, as you can see, the school is very big and very beautiful. And tonight we, can, we are going to meet it and have some talk. And also today I had a chance to talk to what, two of the girls to talk about more about the school and they did. Yeah, hi, this is our third day in Musta. Now we are gathering here at the school called Shela. Now we are I'm with two girls, Anya and Matissa. They will tell us about more about the school. Okay, this is our school, the Shela Gymnasium. And it's a very old school, about 100 years old. And um, the school is called, is named by a famous dead poet called Friedrich Schiller. And our school is the best school in Münster. Every, the, the students are uh, quite good and uh, the teachers are nice and friendly. So. Now I will hand over to Mati Matisha, uh, not Mat Matissa. Matita. Matita will tell us about <laughs> more about the school. How old is your school and how many teachers do you have in your school? Um, nearly over 600 yes. people, no, pupils, <laughs> and um, about 40 teachers. About 40 teachers. What can you tell us about more? What's special about your school? What makes your school to be so special and to be known by another country? Uh, I think our school is very special because of uh, <coughs> the exchanges. We do a lot of exchanges uh, with Namibia, England. Poland and so on and this is very special for our school. So what could you tell about more about your school? Um, a group of our school deals with environment and on the roof of our school we have a solar energy battery and um, to keep energy clean. So we, we also we have that solar energy in our school because we have a lot of sun and how do you hear you I can see since we came here there is no sun how will you get, how do you get your energy from? Our batteries are very big, so we don't need the sun to get energy. It just um, works with the bright light. And then they went to the market uh, in front of the dome. So how did you feel about going to the farmer's market today? Did you like it? Yeah, of course, we're enjoying every moment of it. And for us, uh, for, let me say for the girls, it, was, it is their first time to be in Germany and doing the shopping for the family in German, expressing themselves in German, it was really something new for them and it was really great for them. In the market I, have to, I came to learn a lot of things, especially the apples. I never knew there's different type of apples and different type of orange and other fruits. And it was a very great experience that I get. And did you learn some interesting historic facts about Münster? Yeah, we were at the cathedral, the dome, and we were moving around. Mr. Russia were explaining for us everything. And this was the form of uh, portal, the former entrance. And now you will have you will see this entrance. Whatever happened, the war, yeah, it was great. It was good experience for the, for us, all of us. Okay, I never been in Münster before, but it was. I enjoy every moment of it. So you saw the astronomic clock strike at 12? Yeah, I was there and Mr. Russia was explaining everything, but okay, some we still think in, but some, yeah, <laughs> we forget some of the stuff, okay, but yeah, we were there. And today, the students went to school with us again in the morning, and then they went to the museum of our city and uh, looked at the history of our town. Um, now today is our fourth day of, of our visit in Münster. We are going to visit the Museum of Münster and we are going to learn about the history of Münster. We visited the city museum of Münster. Münster is a very important city in Germany. It's a very old city. 
It was founded in the Middle Ages. It was a very strong city. It was surrounded by the big wall. Today the city, uh, the city wall is called Promenade. Uh, this wall saved the city from being destroyed from the war. In this city, a famous peace treatment was found. The city of Munster is proud of the peace treatment even today. In the Second World War, the, the city was totally destroyed. Today you can see the destroyed, uh, the city is rebuilt original. Munster is a very young city. 40 thousand students are studying here. And now we have a free afternoon and tonight is going to be a wine tasting in the LBS and our girls are going to be wearing traditional clothing. What is it going to be? Um, well, we bring a lot to perform to show mm -hmm. the Af um, European girls, especially the German one. Mm -hmm. But tonight it will be a special song from African Namibia that mm -hmm. a lady have to dance and to thank for what others did to, to them. Okay, thank you. <laughs> 